The moon is our closest celestial neighbor. It controls the movement of the tides on Earth, and its phases have inspired and guided humanity for millennia. But we still don't know exactly how it got here. There are many theories. In 1898, George Darwin, son of Charles, proposed that the moon formed by a large molten mass being ejected by a young, fast-spinning Earth. This is known as fission theory. In 1952, the chemist Harold Urey proposed that the moon is actually a traveler from another galaxy, and it was caught by Earth's gravitational pull on its way. Capture theory was popular throughout the 1960s. The moon's size compared to Earth helped this theory. It is the largest satellite by comparison in our solar system. It is also in tidal lock, meaning we only see one side of it at all times. Hello, Mr. Man on the Moon. But ever since the first manned mission to the moon in 1969, the analysis of moon rocks has mostly debunked these theories. In 1975, the giant impact theory was reintroduced, and it describes the most dramatic scenario. According to the theory, about 4.5 billion years ago, a protoplanet similar in mass to Mars collided with the Earth. Nicknamed Theia after the mother of the moon goddess Selene in Greek mythology, the planet struck Earth like a cue ball, taking part of Earth with it and partially merging with the Earth. The orbiting debris eventually condensed under its own gravity and formed the moon. Scientists like this giant impact theory, but there are still many unknowns. Earth and the Moon share the same chemical signature, so if Theia existed, it would have to have been virtually identical to Earth. The mystery of the Moon persists, giving us reason to one day return.